Today we're going to look at holding the guitar. Now, you may think it's so basic we can just gloss over it, but actually it is the root of uh, good, stress-free, comfortable playing. Now, we'll look, first of all, we'll look at the classical position. The rule is, knee must be elevated higher than the hip. Of course, if it's not, you're always having a slippage problem. The guitar always wants to slide off your knee, so we need to avoid that. Once upon a time, in the olden days, footstools were commonplace. Guitarists elevated their left foot, allowing a good, firm position for the guitar so that it won't move. It's like a, it's, it's held like clamp in three three places thigh inner thigh chest and the arm the weight of the arm applies pressure and you've got complete access now this is great however there is tension in the body there's lots of twisting going on people do tend to lean over when they use a footstool like that um, and we don't want that in any way basically people these days started to use supports. So this one is the Gitano, flips out very comfortably, you can just like that. You don't need to take it off to put it in the case. It elevates the guitar, the head of the guitar is high, it doesn't have to be that high, you can reposition it on where you actually apply the suckers and you can have a lower, the head a little bit lower if you prefer that. But there, we've got the clamp, everything's square, everything's in line, no twisting, and we can be completely relaxed and focus on the playing. There are other devices available, so lots of people use a cushion, especially if you don't want to damage your varnish. So this is the dinneret or dinoret perhaps. Place it on your leg, and there you have a good elevator position for the guitar. Very comfortable. Downside is you've got to take it everywhere. It's quite cumbersome. Right now, so that's the classical position. Now, steel string guitarists regularly place their guitar on their right leg. The same rule applies, knee elevated. You see people crossing their legs. About two hours of that, you know, you're gonna have uh, aching hips and after 50 years of it, goodness knows what's gonna happen. So um, I, I always, always advise, again, elevate your right leg. Foot still even more straightforward the uh, Chitano, okay, so it rests nice and comfortably, just gives you access to the whole fingerboard. Um, and again, the head elevated higher than the, the body of the guitar. As soon as you start playing like this, um, you know, you're having to stretch, you're having to reach over, I would say as a general rule of thumb, head of the guitar higher. You don't have to worry about holding the guitar, you just literally... Mm -hmm. 